Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Insane Ian Eats Meat! Or meat snacks. Anyway, hi, I'm Insane Ian, as if you didn't know that. And this week, I'm trying some weird meat snacks that I picked up from the Beef Jerky Outlet in St. Charles, Missouri. It's right outside of St. Louis. I guess actually it was in St. Louis, maybe not St. Charles. Regardless, I was in St. Louis a couple weeks ago for a wedding. Well, when I recorded this this past weekend. I was in St. Louis this past weekend for a wedding. But by the time that you guys see this, it will have been weeks ago. Because that's how time works. Anyway, and I picked up some beef jerky snacks. I picked up some weird beef jerky snacks. Now, admittedly, I picked up the packs of beef jerky that I always get. The cherry maple flavored smoked beef and the honey barbecue flavored smoked beef. Because these are awesome. And if you ever get a chance to go to the Beef Jerky Outlet, they have them all over the place. You can also order from them online, but uh, I stop there every time I'm in there in St. Louis, and I get these because they're delicious. But this time I got some weird ones. Which weird ones? I'm glad that you asked, because that's what I do on this show. I got a bunch of different weird meat sticks. I got pork and buffalo, which, all right, that one's not that weird. Buffalo meat. It's fine. But how about pork and pheasant? Yeah, cat. Waffles says hello. Pork and pheasant. Uh, that's a meat stick. How about barbecue flavored pork and alligator? Yeah, I know. I've got a cat tail in my face now. That's good. Pork and ostrich. He'd like that one. It's got bird in it. Or maybe some pork and kangaroo. Because... That's a thing. And then, right as I was checking out, they had chocolate-covered bacon at the register, so I thought I'd try that too. This is Applewood smoked chocolate-covered bacon. They also had jalapeno bacon chocolate-covered. I wasn't gonna do that because I don't like spicy things. Doesn't agree with me, but but this dark chocolate coating, it's gluten-free, kids! There's no gluten in your bacon. 90 calories in apple. Hey! Don't chew my comics, cat! Sorry. He's being feisty because he feels like he's being ignored. Poor thing. Anyway, let's eat some meat sticks. I'm going for the pork and buffalo one first because I'm less scared of this than the others. And I'm not entirely scared of the other ones too. I bought them willingly. They had like sour cream and onion and bacon and cheddar flavored crickets at the register. Obviously I passed up those. I don't care what Rhett and Link do on Good Mythical Morning, or what they try on the Tri Channel. I'm not eating bugs on Insane Ian Taste Tests. It's not happening. I'm sorry if you were holding out hope for that, but nope. Nope. Anyway, pork and buffalo. I'm not exactly sure how to get into this, but I guess, well, just like that, apparently. Oh, and then immediately you get that processed meat smell. I think I saw processed meat smell open for Scooter Picnic once. Anyway, it smells like a beef stick. If you've ever had a Slim Jim, what it smells like. It's processed meat. Good snap to it. That's not bad. It's pork, it's buffalo. It tastes like a meat stick. It tastes like a, a Slim Jim, only... Actually, it honestly tastes a little fresher than a Slim Jim, because Slim Jims are really processed. This is really good. The casing, apparently, is artificially colored. So that's a thing. Ingredients, pork, buffalo, salt, dextrose, less than 2% spices, water, garlic, blah, 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 blah. But it uh, is US inspected and passed by the Department of Agriculture. So, Gagriculture? I think the other ones might be Gagricultural. This is agriculture. But yeah, it's distributed by the Beef Jerky Outlet. It's good, good stuff. The sell-by date is interesting though. The sell-by date says March 19th, 2021. But everything on it is so close that it just looks like it says sell by March 1921. If that's the case, it's well past expiration. I don't know if you can see it on there, but yeah. March 1921. So that one wasn't bad. Now let's get into the weird stuff. Pork and ostrich. Obviously all the casings on these are artificially colored. I don't think that's what ostrich meat looks like. Ingredients, pork, ostrich, salt, and all that other stuff. Wonder if this will smell different. <laughs> that is a that is a beefy beef stick. Look at the curly cue on the end of that. 
It's all twisty. Smells like any other beef stick. Here we go. Pork and ostrich. That's not bad either. Again, good beef stick snap when you bite into it. It tastes a little more dark meatish than the buffalo did, depending on what part of the bird they got it off of. Guess this is dark meat, but it's not bad. Again, a little bit of spice with it, guys, with all beef sticks, but less than 2%, so you've got that going for you. But it's not bad. If you're interested in trying ostrich, it's, you can do worse than trying it with pork. I think that's what is interesting about all of these. It's pork and the weird meat. Pork and the weird meat. It's another band I saw open for Scooter Picnic once. But it's not bad. I would happily eat either of these. Now to a different bird, pork and pheasant. Again, same ingredients. Pork, pheasant, salt, etc. 2% spices. I'm waving around my beef stick. Here's another thing that Ian has said on this show that he shouldn't have. Whatever. We're gonna try the pork and pheasant now. Now pheasant is not as unusual as some of these other ones. Buffalo wasn't really unusual. Pheasant isn't unusual. What is unusual is the weird tip on this one. Oh, that's a, that's a thing. Man, that's a little twisty off there and this casing is artificially colored darker than the other ones have been. I don't know how to feel about that. So I'm going to put it in my face and eat it. Because otherwise, what the hell are you watching this for? Pork and pheasant. This smells a little different. Not a lot. Still smells like a beef stick. How many times am I going to say beef stick in this episode? Is there a counter? There's a counter, isn't there? Anyway, beef stick. That one is not as familiar tasting as the other ones. It's a little more solid. A little chewier, a little tougher to chew. It's uh, not dark meat like the ostrich was, seemingly. It's not bad, but it's uh, it's just a little tougher to chew through. It's more well done, I guess. Not bad, just interesting. Let's go with pork and kangaroo next, because it's the one I grabbed. All of these are original flavor, by the way, except for the pork and alligator. Pork and alligator was not available in original, Pork and alligator was only available in barbecue and Cajun. I chose barbecue. But this, pork and kangaroo, is original. Pork, kangaroo, salt, dextrose, less than 2% spices, water, etc. And of course, that casing that it's artificially colored. Because I don't think that's really a color found in nature. That's kind of orange. Let's see what kangaroo tastes like. I'll bet it tastes like something with pork. So now that's a better beef stick. And it's not all twisty, it's not all pointy. Just looks like a beef stick. I don't know what that counter's up to yet, but I'll bet it's more than I should have been saying beef stick. Oh, I said it again. That one, that one doesn't taste like meat. Doesn't taste like a meat stick. It doesn't taste like meat. It doesn't taste bad. It just tastes unfamiliar. I've never had kangaroo before. Now I have with a little pork. But this is a peculiar meat stick. I smell a little bit of beef stick, but I don't really smell any difference between the other ones. I think pork is disguising everything, but apparently there's only so much pork can disguise in kangaroo. It doesn't taste like meat. It just tastes like manufactured. It's weird. That's definitely a weird one. It's not bad. Not good. It just kind of is. And then last in the beef stick category, pork and alligator. This one also has a weird knobby tip. Oh, that's uh interesting. We have a, some slightly different ingredients here. Ingredients, pork, alligator, and the alligator has ingredients, which is alligator, water, sodium, and phosphates. I didn't see the question mark there, so I thought it said alligator water. Alligator water would be weird. I don't want to eat alligator water. Salt, dextrose, less than 2%. Brown sugar. Okay, because it's got barbecue flavor. They've added some more spices. 2% spices, but brown sugar now, so that's good. All right, pork and alligator. We're gonna try this thing. Again, the weird, weird knobby tip. That's unsettling. This time it just smells like a barbecue beef stick. Whatever. 
Not a whole lot of barbecue flavor, and it tastes like alligator water. There's definitely some paprika in that. Feeling a little paprika-ness in the spice, in the barbecue flavor. I tend to like sweet and savory barbecue sauces or flavoring rather than the hot and spicy barbecue flavoring, but whatever. Paprika is not hot per se, it just gives you a little bit of a tingle, and that's what's happening back here. This definitely tastes like pork mixed with something from the water, something from a swamp. It's got a swampy flavor is what I'm saying. It tastes like swamp. I've never said that sentence before in my life, and yet, here we are. Swamp beef stick. That one's probably the least favorite, but honestly, they all kind of taste similar. They're not bad. They're not great, but they're, they're decent. But if I'm going back there, I'm, I'm sticking with the jerky that I like. But hey, we still have one last thing to try, and that is the Oinks brand sweet and salty meat treat. That's just fun to say. The Applewood Smoked Chocolate Covered Bacon. This one, this one is actually, this will be a good palate cleanser. I say as I burp and different animal meats come out of my face. Oh, I'm gonna be fun to make out with later. Whoa. That is just a solid piece of bacon covered in chocolate. That's awesome. Here we go with this. You'd think for $3, they'd have more than one piece of bacon in there, but no, just the one. If you think this sounds good, this tastes just as good as you think it will. Chocolate covered bacon. Yeah, man, why not? That applewood smoke taste coming through after you clear the chocolate out of the way. That's great. I thought that would snap off a little easier, but no, you gotta kind of tear through it with your teeth because it's freaking bacon under there. Oh, but it's worth it. Oh, that's pretty really good. That makes up for the weird beef sticks. Anyway, that's the end of this episode because why not? I decided to do something different instead of all the candies, but I still ended up with chocolate, didn't I? If you like these videos, please leave me a like, share it with your friends, leave a comment, maybe suggest something you'd like to see me try, as long as it's not bugs. And also, maybe give me a subscribe, let me know you like these videos, or you could also decide to support me on Patreon, where your funds go to help me make more videos like this, music videos, all the other types of videos that I do. Basically, it's a way to get to see these videos before anyone else and get a bunch of cool exclusives as well. It helps me make more content for you. So, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye! But my girlfriend isn't pissed that this only had the one piece in it, but, you know, I'll, I'll share it. Anything to get swamp beef stick out of my face. Oh, there's another one. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. But if you stick it in a cookie form. Uh -uh.